Beaky Dippers back. Just Hi guys, out in. magnificent! Just pulled out to sight, but with Paul Johnson's help, head of Johnson's Adventures. It's an empty one, unfortunately, guys, but it's a safe. Yeah. So, and that wasn't a, a very safe safe because I've took it, but well, see for throw as well, isn't he? No, well, more or less, third or fourth. All right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, first safe. Second one will have gold jewels in and pearls. Perfect. So, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, that's the start of things to come. All it had in here was the little coin insert. It's years old. Cash box, over the cash box, and a Get them back and clean them up properly. There's a two year off. There's a normal food thing. Bag of euros on this easy coin there, guys. Oh, yeah. 
Go guys, there's Marie's doing the last bit of magnet fishing for the day. We've not had a lot guys, we've had coins and a set of keys. So, just one of them, innit? We must be doing our job right, as I've said. We've, it's so clean now, it's unbelievable. And it, it's an old bridge as well. No, it never used to be as clean when we first started out, definitely not. Everybody's doing it now, that's the thing, and you know. But I've got a funny feeling, it's been dragged. Hi guys, me Giddy Puss. Went to Birmingham, surprise, surprise. Um, to do a magnet fishing uh, film. <laughs> and uh, yes, we didn't have a, a lot of finds. We, we, it stormed Dennis. Lots of places were flooded. We looked at potential bottle digs, but they ended up not to be very fruitful. Um, I've got a special app now where I find bottle digs, so we're going to go on that a bit more often. Um, but as far as the magnificent was concerned, I didn't have a lot. Um, I'll show you what we have found. So, found some Canadian coins. A Canadian coin there. What's that one? That's a rupee. I found an Indian one as well. These are all in the bag, these ones, guys, all mixed. Got some euros, so them are fives. That's one euro, that's two euro, like a two euro coin. Them are tens, one twenty, and some fifties. I think I've got about nearly five euro there, guys, which is five pounds in money, really, in, in British money. If I was to take that to the exchange, I'd get probably four or five pounds for it. And I've got my usual. Uh, twos, British twos, ones, fives, that's another one there. Uh, found a fishing line. There we go. All the skin things coming off it's so now good regular. Uh, I found a set of keys, as you've probably seen on the video. There you go. It. What? Hey. Best friends, so somebody's got to give her half to that. Oh, I thought she said be free. <laughs> be free. <laughs> I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, half. give her half, probably be. They're probably, they're half of me. And then Marie found, um, it looks like an old, very, very old knife. I've tried to clean it up, you can see the other little blades and that. That's been down there years and years, so I don't think we'll ever get back to what it was. But uh, yeah, it's an old, that's that's old. I wonder what year that went in. Who knows? Looking at that, it could be forties, fifties, sixties. I mean, that's been there some time, isn't it? That. Mm -hmm. It does look like one of the sixties ones that I've pulled out before, so you never know. Um. So yeah, it wasn't very fruitful guys, and we do apologise. It wasn't until we'd done the magnet fish that we realised, me and Paul Johnson had realised that 
along the edge of the canal, the canal, the trees have been cut and we reckon the canal was dragged. We did pull bits and bobs out as you'll see by the video but there was nothing, we used to pull a lot out of that canal and uh, the, the, that to come out of a canal all day. That's good though for the uh, narrowboats. Well yeah, we're doing our job right, we yeah. must be doing our job right. So, yeah. That's what magnet fishing's about. We're obviously doing something right. And if they did come along and do the dreg as well, the CRT, Canal River Trust, have not even fair play to them, you know, because it's just obviously we're, that's what we're after. And any fines, you yeah. know, okay then. So, just one of them guys, and um, I've got some exciting things coming up. I've got so many exciting things coming up, as I said on the bottle digging video. I think that you'll have two videos on next to each other or something like that, the way we're trying to work it. Um, so, yeah, guys, it's just... It's all about treasure hunting, isn't it? It's all about treasure hunting, yeah. Not just bottle digging or magnet fishing, there might be other things to come. Yeah. Oh, Definitely. we've got some right ideas. We're going yeah. to take this to a different place. Um, everybody seems to... People that was magnet fishers seem to have gone into bottle digging and then they're moving on to other things. We, we've got something completely different, guys. Really different. I think it's going to take it by storm, I'm hoping, um, and I'm hoping it's popular, I'm hoping people will enjoy it. Um, I'm not going to say anything yet, yeah. but uh, we've got something up our sleeve, haven't we? Yeah. So, it's just And better. referring back to the money, Yeah. You're, uh, you're 50 pences I'm about here somewhere, aren't they? Yeah, Is well, I've seen, on, I've seen on Facebook, people have got three or four 50 pences, the collectible ones, and... Um, I'll be big headed here, but uh, I've always collected them since they come out, guys. And, uh I wonder if the, um us, our uh, big family, our sub subscribers, uh, like to comment. Because uh, you have got a coin collection, haven't you? I've had a coin collection since I've been a child. Yeah, and whether they'd want to have a quick look at it on one of your videos, let us know. Cause yeah, let us know. You know, we don't want to bore um, you. Some people are into coins, some people are not. I've got coins I've pulled out the canals and stuff like that. But the only reason I'm showing this is I did I did see somebody on Facebook, I'm not going to say who it was, that were, uh, got about 3 or 4 50 pences, which was different ones. But I've got all them. I encapsulate them, because you're not supposed to touch them with your skin anyway. Um, and them are more collectible 50 pences. A Victoria Cross, I've got all the Peter Rabbits. Battle of Hastings. Uh, there's absolutely everything there. Absolutely everything. So I just wanted to show off a little bit and just show you my collection. Um, I've got other 50 pences there. I've got a bag up. Uh, sorry, I've got a case up. I'm putting into little cases. I've got other 50 pences there which are doubles. You can pick these up, guys, dirt cheap. These little capsules. Yeah. Uh, if you want to. Um you know, keep them in. But you're not supposed to touch coins with your fingers. Yeah. Because the acid on your fingers can take the face off them all the time. So it's just best to wear a pair of wool gloves, even just a pair of wool gloves. Um, yeah. All but the rest really have been what I pulled out of canals and stuff like that along the way. Um, you know, like the old pennies that have come up in bags that we've grappled up and stuff like that. And yeah. I, I cleaned them up, guys. I'd get a bit of oil wool. Because, I mean, it's never going to be worth nothing, but it's cleaned it up for this display. Yeah, but let, let us know, guys, if you fancy seeing Glenn's other coin collection and that, you know, yeah. on any of our videos. And, uh, As I'm speaking, these are going into my coin collection, <laughs> because they're worth keeping. The pennies and the normal ones are just going to the bag that we collect the money with. But it, was, it wasn't very fruitful with the finds, guys, but that's the nature of magnet fishing. You either lose them or you get them. Um, we're going to go out and we, we get, like I say, we're going to do some different things, and I think we're going to shock the community with a bit of luck. Not out oh, nicely, nicely put. Don't mean that against anybody. I think we're going to shock the community. I've got a few people who I'm shaking hands with at the moment, and um, big things are coming. Hopefully, if it works out. Big ideas. Big ideas. Big ideas. Um, probably things that people haven't thought of to be honest 
But because um, just what what happens is what I've noticed with this hobby is people magnet fish and then they get into treasure and then they get into thinking oh but I'll dig some bottles up oh, I'm going I'll go for a bottle digging to something else and they, uh, now I'm not going to go that way I'm going to go that way I'm going to go a different direction and uh, I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. Stick with our bottle digging. I've been thought about it. Stick with our bottle digging as well. Oh yeah, well, more, I love the bottle digging. I absolutely more love it. More so for uh, Mitchell. So. I, I love the bottles because it doesn't matter about the value of them. I'm not bothered if I find a £500 bottle. It's not about the money to me. It's the displaying of it. The cleaning up of it and the displaying of it. And I like to get, as a collector of coins and a, a collector of anything, I like to go, get two of everything. Because if you lose one or one gets broke, you can always, you know, work around it. Mm. If you've got one and it gets broke. And Mitchell loves it when he finds a nice bottle, doesn't he? Oh, Mitchell loves it. Yeah. Mitchell absolutely loves it. Biggie Diggers, please like and subscribe to him, my son, Mitchell. Um, he loves doing what he's doing. But a lot of nice comments about getting children out into the fresh air, which is what it's about. And treasure hunting. But more so to teach him about history and not to take it for granted some people things we find in the ground i mean we, we take it for for granted that we can buy a bottle of whiskey now or a, a jar of sauce or something like that then people in them days that jar was probably worth more than what was in it but what was in it was it could have made a meal for 10 people and like we take it for granted now we buy all these plastic containers we have what we want, don't we? Mm. And it's put there on a plate. It's already half cooked for you. And I think the old generation need to see what we're doing. Because I want to try and revive and show my children um, what they had to go through, basically. And I'm only going back as far as probably the, the 50s and 60s where people struggled. I mean, people still struggling now. But the 50s and 60s, the wartime era, um, I think a lot of children these days take it for granted. I don't think they're taught about history the way the way we probably was kind of thing so that's what i'm hoping to do with my with, with, with mitchell to be honest mitchell loves it anyway but um yeah yeah i'd like to give a, a little shout out to um marie padretti yeah. i think i have pronounced that right marie padretti yeah yeah because uh, i'm aware of you marie because uh, i do you know lovely, lovely comments and uh she always comments on every videos and on mitchell's bless yeah. her and uh yeah we, it's really fab. Really and fab. An another one that always sticks in my head, and she's a lovely woman, the way she comes across, is Lorienda77, I believe it is. Um, yeah, and just leave, you leave lovely comments. Was it Long Lord? Long Lord? No, Lorienda. Oh, Lorienda. Lorienda. Oh. Um, she's left comments, and um, absolutely, you know, no matter what kind of week we have, it always leaves a kind comment. We've got some lovely subscribers. Oh, thank you very much. And when, I, when we read through them, it's just so heartwarming. So yeah. thank you all our subscribers. And I hope you keep watching and you keep enjoying. Oh, and I've been talking to outdoor influencer in the States. Um, top man. Your videos are bang on. Uh, here's a shout out from Peaky Dippers to you in America. Um, that is outdoor, adventure, outdoor influencer. Um, absolutely amazing guy, absolutely amazing guy. Treasure Vixens work with him now and again as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you're willing to pay for, pay for a flight, I'll always come across and <laughs> stop at your house and uh, we can go out together. But uh, whether you get that message, I don't know. But uh, yeah, outdoor influencer, outdoor influencer, thank God. It, it, it does, it, it, what I like about him is a variation of things. It don't just do that, it does a, an umbrella of things. And he's got different ideas and he reminds me of myself i don't want to be just doing one thing i want to be doing as many things as i can to pull as much treasure up as i can and uh, i've got some different ways i've got some different ways in the mirror and I, I think hopefully there's going to be a nice shock to all my subscribers and you're going to be watching the magnificent is the main thing like i keep saying but you're going to see something that's slightly different and um exciting and I think a lot of you will really enjoy it. So, watch your space. I put it on my Facebook. If you're a friend on my Facebook, I've got five, uh, nearly 600 friends on Facebook. Feel free to add me as a friend or whatever you want to send a friend request. If I know who you are, I'll add you. You have to be careful this day and age as you're aware. So, uh, I don't know trolls. <laughs> but, 
So yeah, guys, uh, until next time. Um, like and subscribe to us. Yes, like and subscribe. I'm Peaky Diggers. I've, if this one works out this weekend, this is a different idea coming up. I might be meeting some somebody. Um, so, as far as the magnet fishing is concerned for this weekend, I don't know. If it falls through, then I'll be magnet fishing. So, I've got to play every day as it comes. So, I'm sorry for the break, guys. You know, again, being a bit. Uh... Yeah, there has been a bit of a gap for the videos, guys. Uh, as most of you are probably aware, I've been ill. I've been off work uh, for nearly three weeks. And it still hasn't popped out. <laughs> and it still hasn't came out. I mean, if you don't know what we're on about, it is a kidney stone. If and I'm it's not pregnant, wedged, it's lodged and it just won't move. I'm not pregnant, Marie. I'm not pregnant. Mind you, I'm carrying a little foreign body around with me. I don't so. know whether we'd mentioned to anybody what it was. On it's the... a kidney stone. It's stuck by, your kidney. by my kidney. They can't operate because it's too close to the kidney. But at the same time, it's blocking my kidney. So there's got to be some point they've got to take it out. So it's one of them. Um, when I turn yellow, <laughs> and then I wish I hope I don't, and then uh, it'll get sorted. So I've got an appointment coming up. Uh, so please bear with me, guys. I'm trying to do videos as and when I've got the strength to do it. I'm back at work now, but I can't do my job 100%. At the moment, I've, just, I've got no strength. Um, I've been a few, but I've done a few bottle digs, and I'm just fair play to Paul Johnson and Johnson's Adventures. Uh, he has carried me that bloke has, and um, what a bloke! He is a brother, he's like a brother to me. Um, it's good now, energy. Can't even dig in a hole to the bottle digging. It, it's it, it's hard to explain. But uh, thank you for all sticking by me, guys. Uh, I love every single one of you. Um, I have nothing but kind comments. I have a troll now, and I've said that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, there's trolls under the bridges, under the, mag uh, under the magnet fishing bridges, but there you go. So, yeah, guys, uh, like, subscribe to me, Pinky Diggers, and um, Johnson's Adventures, Rusty Nut Steve, Magnet Fishing, I love you to bits, mate, you're a good lad. Treasure Vixens, an outdoor influencer. Bang on. Oh, and DS on. Magnet Fishing. DS Magnet Fishing. Uh, Daniel Slack and Tori is Mrs. Which is the uh, Slack lad. Uh, been talking a little bit over messages and that. Again, they're always so friendly as well. We're a lovely family. So, like, subscribe to those. DS Magnet Fishing. And I shall see you soon, guys. By order of the Peaky Dippers. I shall see you either in an owl or on the magnets. <laughs>